Spiky bits. Hey guys, MBG here with the uh, first look unboxing at the uh, the new Orc Bomber uh, with the three different kits inside. And we have a we have a special guest today. We have Thomas, aka Go Goat Boy Reedy, <laughs> the sweetheart of 40K, here with us. And uh, this is his this is his favorite. So we're gonna let him talk a little bit about it. Hey, uh, this is the of, of all three kits. This is what would seem to be my favorite one. Uh, I feel you probably get a lot more out of it than a lot of the other ones because you got all three options in it. Um, as you see, the art's pretty cool in the back. Uh, it shows the uh, get upside down. That's I think the uh, burner bomb. I think right back here, or that's the burner. Yeah, I don't see, remember. Cause you, pick, you pick it up and you go like this. You're like, hey, I'm an American. Oh, there it is. You know what? I flipped the way I want to flip it. I do what I want. <laughs> so let's open this up and look at it. Um, by far, it seems to be the one with the most sprues of all of them. It has three, which is pretty nuts. I mean, look at this. Look at that fuselage on there. It's pretty, pretty huge. Um, lots of interesting options all over it. Guns. Uh, every every options in here. Uh, the interesting thing is, if you look at the wings, it is one set of wings, but they have uh, ways that you lock it in, and it moves the wing, and so it can kind of completely change its shape, which is a pretty interesting uh, design set. It's something a lot more um, looks like on the CAD stuff. Their designs getting really really interesting on how they kind of build stuff out. But overall, I mean, the kit looks looks great. And look at how many bombs you have on there. Can't you see an orc just chunking that somewhere? I mean that's that's really the best. Grot, grot carrying it. Yeah. <laughs> I like these little missiles right here because it's a one solid missile piece, so it's not two pieces. So. Pull, pull there you go. Yeah. So you can see it's like it's one uh, one solid uh, missile piece right over there, um, which would be great for uh, when you do tank busters or rocket boys because you can use that at the edge of a, a gun set. So I mean, overall, I find this kit to be, you know, actually a, a pretty pretty damn good value on it. So it's just just how much stuff is on here. Yeah, it's three uh, solid screws or stuff. Three, I mean, it's three that you know, whatever the price set on it. So that's actually really good. Fifty or something. Yeah. So definitely, uh, definitely, I think it's um, a cool kit. Uh, you get a flight stand with it and base. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's take a closer look yeah. at some stuff here. This is uh, here's the instructions. I try to show this sometimes. Uh, there's the three different variants of it, basically. So you can, and you can see. Let's see. Let's pull that up a little bit. All right. So there's the there's the piece that's gonna make that's gonna make your wings cantered. Because you got your intake there, and then you got this uh, extra like uh, shooter shooter piece that isn't on these that makes it basically these go straight out, so you can change it there, and you got some different turret options. Let's take a look. Um, so here's the uh, this right here is those pieces I was talking about that are gonna make your uh, gonna make your wings cantered a bit, um, and then on this these are these are the actual wings right here, but there's these insert pieces which give it kind of a different profile right here at the top and they're bomb racks for the for the missiles basically so it breaks up the profile a little bit for the different different kinds of jets um, and there was what is it oh yeah here's the uh, now this is this is kind of neat this is the this is the piece that attaches to the fuselage the wings attached to first and if you notice like they're pretty solid chunks so you put these together A and B two halves and then basically your wing your wing attaches onto the top of that well, which would be the side. But what I'm thinking is, you know, you could cut these down, put them together, and put a wing on it, and basically attach it to anything orky. You know, like anything you want. You can make, you could put the two wings together and just make like a flying bomb or something. You know. So there's a lot of different opportunities with this kit, and a lot of different turrets and things. Here's the, uh, here's the different glasses. Let's see. Let me see there. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there's a different, uh, different glasses and things. Your uh, your bug screen one, and then you got your fully fully canopied and your turret. So I don't. Know. You got any other ideas about this kit? I I like I said I'm I'm planning on getting three. So I think uh, <laughs> I, it was it was the best looking of the kit uh, from what I saw. It looked like it had a. It makes you hope that we see more orc stuff later. Um, something because I mean oh there's this too. or uh, the idea of the uh, you new, know uh, new decal sheet. Oh yeah, that is a new one. Yeah, and it's uh the the, the oh. glyphs and everything are uh, like wing shaped. That's actually neat. that's actually really cool on that one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll see a war buggy. I mean, that's the one mm -hmm. thing we were waiting for. And if, can you imagine a, a buggy kit that's like three different things in it and fully uh, modded out and uh, kittable out would be great. As long as so. it's not not the same size as a truck. No, <laughs> it needs to be a little, little smaller. A little smaller. I was kind of disappointed with the battle wagon. I won't I won't joke. I was I was mad about the battle wagon being as small as it was. Um, I, I liked it. I thought it was good. Uh, just because. But the problem I have is that it's too damn long. <laughs> Yeah, but and everyone made them out of a Land Raiders, uh, seventy-five dollars now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think, I mean, this is definitely a step in the right direction, kit-wise. Yeah, I think so. Definitely a good kit. 
Well, there you have it. There's our uh, there's our video review of the uh, Orky one, the new Orky Bomber, and uh, we'll get some other ones done here in a Ricky Tick and uh, get them on up for you. The Storm Talent and the Night Side. So I'm MBG Rob Bear and Go Boys right here, Sweetheart 40K. <laughs> Thanks for watching our video. Spiky bits. <laughs>